Okay, so strange video we're gonna have today. Um, my block looks a little different. We have a hurricane hitting tonight and small business is all about challenges and overcoming those challenges. And today is definitely a challenge. You can see um, some of my neighbors are uh, putting things in front of their doors. All is closed, uh, except for one person back there. I can't believe they are open. Um, my direct neighbor is a gigantic um, Italian restaurant and they are boarding up all of their windows. We have moved everything, uh, well, our clothes out of our windows and I have taped my doors up and um, whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's a weird, weird day we have going on. Last year, we actually had a hurricane as well. I was out of town. Um, I was out of town for last year's hurricane and my friends and family had to um, come and board my shop up. You'll see in these pictures, it actually made it into some national publications that my friends were uh, boarding up my windows. But you can see here, they, everybody's working really hard and um, I'm gonna go into the back side of my shop and I'll kind of show you what I have done because you just have to prepare for all things, right? Roll with the punches. My building is a hundred years old. That means my windows are a hundred years old. My roof is a hundred years old. And uh, you can see sandbags back here. Um, it's just not a great situation. So we put buckets out where we know there is kind of um, going to be leaks in my roof. And um, I have gaps in my door because my door is also 100 years old and so I tape everything up and you just try and take the best precautions you can um, but I'll head inside and show you what's going on lots of lots going on out here today all right I'm in my shop and um, we have pulled things away from the front of the store so you can see there's usually a rack here. You can see there's usually clothes here because my windows are so old and we have tons of trees on this street. Um, just in case something goes through my window, I just uh, kind of wanted to pull, pull a couple things away. Um, and then you can see here, I taped everything up. I have laminate floor. So even if um, it doesn't flood, let's say the rain is really hard, which it's gonna be, um, it is gonna come through all these little cracks in my door. So I just like to put this down just to make sure my laminate doesn't get wet because if it sits, it will warp. So I've done that with um, both doors in here. You can see I actually taped up this one. I mean, you can see the light coming through. So wind and rain will definitely come through my doors. So yeah, I just trying to do that. Um, hurricanes don't have a ton of lightning, but I'm still gonna unplug everything, turn everything off. That way, if there is some kind of surge, power surge or whatnot, um, it won't fry my AC units or fry my electrical, because um, that's the last thing you would want uh, should you come back from a storm. Um, and then not be able to open because of electrical. So yeah, we just kind of pulled everything back. I'm gonna continue to pull more things, but um, yeah, we'll see. I'll do an after video <laughs> and we shall see, guys. Uh, pray for me, pray for my block and our city and our uh, all of our small business owners that, you know, are already um, going through a slow summer here in Florida. It's like 100 billion degrees outside. And so then you add this on top of it. But you guys, this is why it's so important to have a safety net. Um, this is why having savings is so crucial because it is currently, as I'm doing this, this is a Tuesday. Um, we closed halfway through yesterday because my staff live in evacuation zones. And so I really wanted to give them time to be able to evacuate and get their families in order and all of that. So we lost half a day of sales yesterday gonna be closed today gonna to be closed tomorrow the storm is hitting in the middle of the night uh, evening night morning tomorrow and um, you know that's pretty much three days of being being closed because let me tell you nobody was out shopping yesterday um, they were all at Publix and uh, Home Depot so um, yeah that's three days of sales and then already uh, one of our slower months because it's it's the summertime and the end of the season so 
Um, hopefully we can reopen on Thursday, but I, I don't think people will be out shopping on Thursday because everybody will be kind of getting back into their routine and um, trying to fix their houses and whatever else, you know, at the very least there'll be debris everywhere and some people will have, lose power. So, you know, pretty much this week is the shot as far as sales. And if I did not have a savings account, I would be in big trouble because my rent is still due. Um, you know, I still have payroll. I, I, I um, told my staff that I would still pay them for um, Tuesday and Wednesday because, you know, uh, it's expensive here and they uh, did not ask for this hurricane. So, um, you know, I just uh, really encourage you guys to think beyond. I know I did a video about my AC unit and how much that costs and savings and whatnot. And um, this is another reason why you should have a savings account for sure. So we will follow up once the storm is over and I'll do another video. Hopefully everything is still intact and everybody is safe and okay. we made it I am back the next day we have power um, I had a little bit of water come in my front door but um, nothing crazy um, <clears throat> thankfully we are up high we are not gonna be open today though because um, a lot of my neighbors were not uh, as fortunate not block neighbors but neighbors um, in the neighboring neighborhoods so everybody is flooded in so we're gonna stay closed and uh, go help our friends and family in their homes. But shop is fine and thankful once again.